Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a freelance marketplace website just like Fiverr and Upwork. And we will be using Warface and its popular page builder Elementor, using which we can create a website just by drag and drop without any coding. And the website that we will be creating in this video has all the essential features that a freelance marketplace must have. For example, there will be clients and freelancers. And both of them can easily create their profiles and then they can manage their profiles, they can complete their profiles and the clients will be able to post a job on the marketplace and then freelancers can apply for their job by submitting their proposals and once a proposal is accepted, client will have to pay for that gig. The payment will go to the admin account and will also be visible to that freelancer in their wallet after deduction of the admin fee which means that the website owner or the admin can charge the employer and the client for each sale just like Fiverr which takes 20% of the amount. You can have a percentage amount, fixed amount or you can have tire based that we will be discussing later in this video. On the other hand, freelancers will also be able to sell their services by creating their gigs just like Fiverr or they can publish their gigs and then clients can buy their gigs. And other than that, there are lots of features and functionality of this website like the system based notification. So if a freelancer get hired or if a proposal is submitted, the client and freelancers will get notifications, there will be NY system, FAQ, projects, job board services, users can switch their role like freelancer or a client as we have in the Fiverr. There will be portfolios, there will be built on chat system, login, sign up, PayPal, Pioneer, Stripe checkouts, email notifications, front end dashboards, wallets and so on. There will be job packages, featured jobs, also the review system, the reporting system and so on. I can't cover everything in this short overview, we will be discovering all the features one by one while developing the system. This might be a one hour long tutorial, I will divide this in three parts, I'll upload all the three parts at once so that you can watch them seamlessly. Now let's get started ok? And before that let me give you a quick tour of the website that we will be creating in this video. So this is the website, here on the top you have the logo, the navigation menu with all the required pages, obviously you can customize the menu as well. Then we have sign in and join now buttons, so we can log in or we can sign up to this system. Then we have this main hero section with this image, the background image and also the powerful search bar where we can search for freelancers, jobs, employers and services. And as I said, all the things will be customizable using Elementor so I'll show you that later on. Then let's scroll down, here we have some logos and basically these are the services categories and a slider where we can display different categories and then under each category there will be services. We will explore this later on. Then we have this section with a video pop-up and also with some content. Here you can display about your website and some features and we also have this call now button. If I click this, this will open up a video ok. You can change this video or you can remove this and then scroll down. Here we have the topic categories so again we have some categories of the jobs that we can explore. And then we have another section, this is for mobile app if you have and then scroll down. These are the services like the 5 or gigs ok. So each gig will have multiple images that we can scroll through. And this is the freelancer profile image, the name, the title of the gig, the reviews and the views and also the pricing. So everything is in much detail and we can also save this to our favorite list. And then we have this call to action where we can join this system as an flyer or as a freelancer. And then we have some latest articles, so basically the blog posts and the footer where you can display a logo, some text, your social media and some quick links and also the join now button. Now let me show you the gig description, so if I scroll up and I open up any of these. And this is the service detail page and here you can scroll down, you will see the description of the gig ok. So again the category, title and order in queue. So this freelancer is working on one project this time, we can save this gig. This is the feedback of the clients, the pricing, the gig description like the delivery time, views, sales and so on. Again this is a slider and here a freelancer can display multiple images. They can write a description and this is the location of the freelancer and here we can buy this gig or we can contact the seller by the built in chat system. This is the freelancer profile, we can view this and we can also share this service on different platforms. And here we can report this freelancer if this is a fake person ok. We can report this to the admin and admin can remove this freelancer. And if a client is interested in the service, they can just click on buy now. And you can see login to purchase this service ok. We will login and notice the system later on. Let's go to job listings. 
By the way, on the top you can also notice this search bar. So again, this is the same search bar that we have on the home page where we can search for freelancers, jobs and employers and services. And this is the project page. Here you can see the map. And these are the jobs posted by the clients. And here on the left side, we have this powerful filter where we can filter these jobs by the geolocation. We can search for a specific job, the job type, English level, project types, project length, freelancer type and so on. We can also manage this filter and we can remove the unwanted things. And here we can sign up and we can load more jobs. Okay. This is also a very good feature. Now if a freelancer is interested in any of these jobs, they can just click on view job. And this is the job detail page. And here you can see the job title, this is the job type, then the timing, also the level of the job, and the delivery date and the location. This is the project description, here you can see the description of the job also, and also the location, frequently asked questions, and on the right side we have the job budget, the expiry date, English language and proposal submitted for this job, and we also have the profile of the client, and we can share this job, and we can also report this employer as well. And we can add skills, industries, language to the job and we can also add attachments like the job description in PDF or doc format. And again, if any freelancer is interested, they can just submit their proposal here, okay? But for that, we will need to log in. And let's also log into this system to show you how this theme works, okay? So I'll sign in. And you can see successfully logged in. And this will take me to my dashboard here. So this is the front end dashboard. If I open this. Here you can access your dashboard, your profile, you can do settings, manage jobs, manage services, save items, invoices and so on. And this is by the way in Flyer profile and they can access all these features that we will be discovering later on. And from here they can post a job okay. And for the job posting you can see job description, prices, what are the requirements, job categories and so on. They can add file attachments, they can add their location, they can add frequently asked questions. They can save the job and the job will be posted on the marketplace. So this is the client profile and now let me show you the freelancer profile quickly as well. And then we will move to the development stage. So let's log out and we will log in with the freelancer account. And this is now a freelancer dashboard ok. So again you can access all the features like the dashboard, inbox, view my profile, identity verification. So using this system you can also verify freelancers. They will have to submit their identity card, passport or any other legal documentation for the admin approval, okay? Then settings, manage portfolios, manage projects, services and so on. And in the profile, they can add their personal detail, experience, projects, awards, profile videos, specialization, industrial experience, profile, FAQ and so on. And here on the top, they can access their inbox or their notifications. So every time they get a notification, they will see it over here. And let's go to gigs. So for that we will go to manage services, here we can post a service. So on this page a freelancer can post a gig ok, like they can publish their services. So they will have to write the service title, description, service category, pricing, also the service response time, languages and description and images, map and so on. So you can see this is a complete system for a freelance marketplace website. Now let me show you how we can get this theme and how we can customize it. So to get the theme just click the first link in the description of this video. You will get redirected to this page. This is the theme name Workree Freelance Marketplace and Directory Wolf is theme. And this is the theme price. This is one time fee. You will have to pay this once and then you can use this theme for a lifetime. You will get lifetime updates and so on. Here you can scroll down you can learn more about this theme. By the way this theme is also available in the Laravel version. So if you are a Laravel developer you can get its Laravel version. In this video we are using Wolfis, so we will use this Wolfis version, okay? So to get this theme, just add this to cart and this is the theme, just go to checkout. This is the order summary, so again the theme price, the handling fee, this is the total amount and here you can pay with Visa, Mastercard or Paypal, just pay for this theme, okay? And once you pay for the theme, you can go to your downloads page and here you can download the theme, okay? Just click on download and here you can download installable Wolfis files only and you will also need its purchase code, okay? So make sure to download both these files and these are the two files that you will get after download, okay? The first thing is you can just extract this file, okay? Just right click, click extract all and extract and you will get a new folder, just open it. These are the main files and here you can see this is the main theme and this is the child theme. We only need these two files, we will upload this to our Warface and the rest of the things can be added online. So let's see how we can upload this to our Warface. And now to create any website, the first thing you need is domain and hosting. 
and domain will be your website name which will be unique and after typing your url your domain name people will land on your page for example if i open a new tab and i type softexport.pk this will take me to my website and this is because this is my domain name and i have my website here another popular example of domain name are google.com facebook.com youtube.com and so on and hosting in simple words is an online storage where your website files will be stored where you can manage your domain, your databases, file manager, your SSL certificates, you can create domain name emails, and you can also create subdomains, add-on domains, and so on. And there are multiple platforms that provide you domain and hosting. The one I would recommend is hostinger.com. And there is a discount link in the description. Once you go there, it will take you to this page. And here you can get a normal hosting or a WordPress hosting. As we are creating WordPress website, so that's why I'm on WordPress page. And the reason for suggesting this hosting is the pricing. Here you will get a free domain, free website migration, 24 hour support, and so on. And if you want to check the pricing plans, you can scroll down here. And you can see this is the premium one, business and cloud startup. And here you can also notice the pricing. Here on the first plane you can host up to 100 websites, you will get this amount of storage, weekly backups and so on. And on this plane you can also host 100 websites, this is better in speed, we have 200 GB of NVMe storage, a daily backup, free emails, unlimited SSL and so on. You can check these features and you can select the plane that you need. And most cases this will be fine for you, you can just add this to cart or if you need this one you can add this to cart. And it will take you to the cart page where you can see you are almost there, complete your order. And here you can see the summary of your plan, you can scroll down, you can buy this hosting for 1 month, 12, 24 or 48 months. So the more time you choose here, the more discount you will get. Here you can see you can save up to 432 USD. And uh, you can scroll down, you can create a free account here or you can sign up using your Facebook or Google. And then you can pay with credit card, PayPal, Google Pay and so on. And you can see in just 143 you will get a free domain and this hosting for 4 years, okay? One more thing is if you are from Pakistan, the link in the description will take you to hostinger.pk and you can again see the pricing in rupees and you can add any to cart and you can see the pricing is just 8.59 rupees and it also includes one year free domain. This is for 4 years which is a good deal and the next thing is you can also pay with easy pay suggest cash and HBL from Pakistan. Also the alpha wallet is there. So you can follow the link in the description and you can get a domain name and hosting and after buying a domain and hosting you will get a dashboard like this. This is the domain name and this is my hosting plan. You can see business with hosting, okay? And now let's see how we can install WordPress on our domain. If I visit this domain, there is nothing. You are all set to go. Now we just need to install WordPress here, okay? Let's go back. And to install WordPress, you can go to a website and here you will see WordPress. If you don't see here, you can go to auto installer and you will find WordPress there. Just click on it. And here you can detect WordPress on your domain name. I know that there is no WordPress installed in this domain, so I can just click on install WordPress. And this will open up a pop-up where you can write your website title, for example. And here you can write admin email and username and password for your WordPress dashboard, okay? And that's it. Just click next. And here you can choose the WordPress version. This is the latest one, which is fine. You can also select your website language. And these are fine. And here you can select update to minor version. And then click install. And that's it. This is how you can install WordPress on your domain. And now you will see a different dashboard. Here you can see. Now we can edit our website. We have this plugin installed. And uh, we also have the WordPress latest version, the PHP version, and the daily backup is enabled. Now to go to your WordPress dashboard, you can just click on edit website. And this is the WordPress dashboard where we can install themes and plugins. And we can start creating the website. And now to add the theme, you can just go to appearance, themes, and then click add new theme. Then click add new theme, upload theme, choose file and navigate to that folder and we'll select the main theme which is this one and install now. And the theme uploaded, now we can go ahead and activate this theme but it's best for us to use the child theme because there we can add our custom codes, we can modify the theme files that we will need. So let's also upload the child theme, I'll go to themes, add new, upload, choose file. And this time we will choose the child theme and install now. Now the parent theme is there so we can go ahead and activate this one. After activating the theme this will take you to the plugin installer page where you can install its required plugins. So you can see Elementor, WooCommerce, WorkRef Core, Atom Chat, Contact Form and so on. These are the plugins that are required for running this theme properly and 
to get the required functionalities. So I'll select all and from bulk action I'll choose install and apply and this will install all the plugins one by one. And all plugins have been completed. Let's go to plugin installer page and again we'll select all and this time we will choose activate and apply. And all the required plugins have been activated. Now we can return to our dashboard. And this will open up Elementor setup. If you want to connect your Elementor with your free account, you can do it easily by going to create my account or connect your account here. And by this, you will be able to use some advanced features of the Elementor like Elementor AI, AI image generator and so on. For now, let's skip this. And that's it. This is how you can upload the theme and install its plugins. But still, if I visit this website in a new tab, we have nothing, we just have this logo and we have this menu and this hello world first. So let's see how we can get all this demo content and then how we can customize it. And before importing the demo data, make sure to activate this theme on your domain and then you will be able to see the work creep options as well. So just go to work creep to activate the theme and you will see this work creep purchase code. You will need to put that purchase code here and then click on activate license. Let me open that. So this is the purchase code that we got from Team Forest. We will just need this code, okay? Just copy it and then paste it here and click activate. And purchase code verified. Now this will reload the page. And after activating the license, you will see all the options like the freelancer, pages, specialization, experience, hourly rate, sidebar, skills, and so on. And you will also see other options like microservices, milestones, employers, notifications, portfolio, projects, service orders payments and so on and after that you can import the demo content so for that you can scroll down and just go to tools and here you will see demo content install click on it and you will see the demo content that are available i have showed you this one if you are not sure about the options here you can just click on live review to see the live review okay i'll just click on it and this is the website i showed you so i can go with this one okay let's close this i'll click install and you will get a warning that import demo content will overrun the website okay so that's fine we will click ok and this will start installing the demo content so let's wait for this and after that this will reload the page and will take you to your website here you can see and we got this website okay don't worry about this menu and the logo we will fix this later on and the rest of the content is missing because the images are copyrighted we can add them later on but the main thing is we got the search box, the content and also the categories, other content with the video and the categories, the job categories, the services, the gigs and so on. These are the latest articles and the footer. So this is how you can get this theme and then how you can set this up. And in the next part I'll show you how you can customize this website and how you can add your own logo, how you can fix this menu how we can change the images, how we can upload our own images, how we can change the text and how we can make this website functional. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in the next.